Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I wanted to make a quick little video about some new straps I picked up. So like many of my other videos, I always get these on AliExpress because they're just a fraction of the price, you know, and you know, why not? So I'm going to put these on just to kind of see how they look and feel and we'll kind of talk about it. So first thing about these that you'll notice is that these are actually quick fit and you notice that by kind of stock, the instinct comes with these kind of traditional kind of, you know, ones that you have to remove the um, the pin from. But in all my previous dealings with the instinct, I've always been able to make, um, make these work. So we're gonna expect these to work as well. Um, I've also gotten some Velcro straps for this one as well, but I didn't get too many to start with because these are actually kind of harder with the instinct to use. So if you know, I know I've on my uh, Phoenix, I like to use these Velcro ones, but with the instincts, it is a little challenging because you don't have as much space here. So we'll, I do have some coming, so we'll test it out, but these arrive first. So once you take off the stock ones, you can kind of see how these are different. You know, once you take off the stock ones, then you can just clip these on. So let's see if it's, yep, so far so good. And flashlight is exposed, so there you go. So I've always, I don't know why, but I kind of prefer the quick fit setup over kind of the kind of the stock, whatever you want to call it, the, yeah, how it kind of, the OEM look. So this is kind of what it looks like stock. Now, the one thing I will say though, um, in my previous, dealings with the instinct is that when you put on one of these quick fit uh, bands the watch does snag more because with the kind of the stock one you kind of ha it has kind of a you know little kind of you know what i don't know what to call it kind of an angle here so it'll kind of you know kind of slide over things this will kind of cause it to snag more so i have noticed that in, in the past not a big deal but I have noticed that that's one of the downfalls is of not using, you know, these because it will snag more. Um, let me take that one out. Yeah, you can kind of see the difference here between height. So you can kind of see that this offers kind of a little ramp to keep it from from snagging more. So that's probably the only downfall. But otherwise, I prefer just the look of this one over that one. I feel like this makes it look a little bit more like a watch versus kind of like a, you know, like a contraption or of some sort. So yeah, feels good, looks nice. Um, and lets the Y, and lets the watch lay flat. So he articulates a lot more than the stock one. So this is the uh, blue one. Um, in hindsight, now that I look at it, I should have gotten a red one because the tactical has these red accents, but didn't think that well ahead. Uh, the one thing, so like I said, I get these in AliExpress. This is the brand and best is the one I got. And when you buy these, the main thing I recommend looking out for is to make sure that these are using kind of the more sturdy screws uh, versus the cheaper ones sometimes use like those push pins and I've had I've never had one of these fail before but I have had two fail with a pin broke um, luckily the watch fell into grass so it wasn't didn't get damaged but it, it literally fell off my wrist and I looked and this is what broke so I think I actually might have it here um, the broken one but yeah some of these you have to be careful that's that's the only thing I would avoid yeah see here's one with the uh, a pin so this is what you want to avoid is these where it's like a push pin this is not very strong at all yeah so two, it failed on me twice um and initially i was looking i've gotten some of these where it has like a metal locking mechanism and it, this is a nice touch um because it, it's a little more sturdy and goes on easier but this one also has a pin See, so that's 
that's probably the only thing I'd look out for when you're selecting these is to make sure you're picking out ones that have the pin or don't have the pin. So a lot of, a lot of these I have, I kind of worry about using now. And moving forward, I make sure that I get the ones with the screw. So that's my only uh, bit of advice here is to focus or make sure that you pick one with that type of screw connection. So I'm gonna do a quick, uh, some camera speed up here. I'm gonna try all these on just to give you guys an idea what they look like. Okay, here we have the kind of the lime green perhaps or light green. Um, I've always liked the lime green color on these fitness watches. So in all my watches, and even if you saw my box before, I have several of these. I just kind of like this color a lot. So I always make sure I have one of these for all my fitness watches. So that's the green. And here we have your kind of more kind of OD kind of olive green, kind of your more of a tactical look right here. Also another, another color that I do like on these watches. And we have kind of a gray, kind of a light gray, maybe almost like a tundra color. I think I've heard this call or color called before. It's a real light gray, kind of a dark white. I also kind of like this color as well, but I do wish I got a red one. And I kind of regret not getting a red one. Maybe they didn't have, yeah, I'm sure they had a red one. But there you go. So these are, I like having these because this just kind of lets you quickly, you know, in a matter of a minute, change out how your watch looks. So if you want to kind of, you know, kind of get bored, bored of the traditional black, or you're trying to kind of dress the swatch up or down, and this is just a quick way you can kind of make a, uh, old watch kind of feel new again is by just quickly changing these up and that's kind of what I do you know every week I don't know every week maybe every two weeks or so usually as I'm switching between this or my phoenix I'll you know I'll switch back sometimes for the colors or as well like so there you go great I think it's a great option to get very affordable and the only thing that sucks is these are wider than the phoenix so you can't really share them but i'm gonna stick with the blue and i'll put these into my ever-growing box of garmin have to organize this here soon again um but here's a here's a red one let's see i think actually here let's just see what the red one will look like i think the red one will look nice I see this one has these metal brackets and goes on so smoothly very with ease but then it's got that stupid cheap pin for the clasp which I had a hard time trusting now so that's how it looks with the red <coughs> yeah that would look nice so I think we're going to get a red one for this eventually I think that it's a good combo but yeah that's it for this one um, I'll try and post links to the ones I got but they tend to expire quite frequently, so the easiest thing to do is to go to AliExpress and just search for, you know, 22 or, or 26 millimeter bands, whatever you're looking for. Like I said, the, the, these are 26 for the Instinct 2X and 22 for the Phoenix and the smaller watches. But that's it for this one. I will catch you on the next one.